Here's how to actually create realistic, consistent AI UGC avatars from one single image. And if you watch until the end, I'll also share with you a very simple AI ads monetization strategy to help you get started with AI UGC. I've done this myself. I'm very happy to share it with you. This tutorial does not require any comfy UI workflows. It doesn't require a LoRa training. And you've probably seen my other videos on character consistency, but today I wanna to focus on AI UGC uh, and creating these realistic, consistent characters for your ads without having to use real actors. And as I've covered in other videos, which you can click right here to watch, some benefits of running AI UGC ads are scalability, reduced cost, it has a faster testing cycle, and some of you might argue that AI UGC or, or the AI ads uh, do not work. Well, I've tried it myself this January and we generated over 10 million views using short form content that was done entirely with AI. And as I always say, the, the algorithm doesn't care if it's AI. It cares if it's if it's good. So if you understand the fundamentals of storytelling, you can achieve great results with AI UGC content. The future of content is AI, my friend, and, and learning the tools, learning the workflows and, and being curious to create your own allows you to have leverage in the end of the day. But I'm, I'm not here to lecture, not today. I'm just here to show you exactly how to solve the consistency and, and the realism challenges that, that we've seen so far when it comes to AI UGC and AI ads. So let's get started. The very first thing that we need to do is get our data set ready and, and to generate an AI ad and, and maintain control over our character, we need a reference image. This will serve as our foundation layer. I will generate my reference image inside Cora, which for me is the best and most realistic AI model currently in the market. It has a few modes, as you can see here, but for the purpose of this video and this workflow, we will use the selfie mode. I want to generate a selfie of a woman by, by the beach. I'll just write, write it down in the prompt section over here. Simple, easy, a selfie of a woman by the beach. That's it. You don't have to be crazy about it. Simple, to the point. Hit generate. You're gonna see the image being processed in this small little gallery that you can drag and move around. Cool, okay, so this is what we got. We got this preview box, and here we see what our final image will look like. This is not final, it's just the preview. Uh, and if we like it, we click approve, so, so we finalize the process. If we don't like it, we retry it again. I think that this looks great. We'll approve this and wait for the full image resolution. Damn, here we have it. Take a look at this. Okay, tell me this does not look real. Do it. Waiting. Tell me, like, what about this image doesn't look real to you? <laughs> Let me show you these other examples um, that I tried before recording this video. T take a look at these images. God, yo, I just, I, um, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Boom, realism is solved, baby. It's, it's done. I like this image over here. So let, let's use this as our reference for our next step. But, okay, I cannot focus. Let's spend one minute to appreciate this, guys. This looks very good. I'm very proud that I was able to build this myself. I'll tell you a story on how I built Enhancer another day, but this is my very proud dad moment. Need to take this all in. Good, let's go. So now that we have our image, we are ready to generate our consistent ad ready avatar that can actually lip sync and deliver any script that you want. And today I will be using Arcads. You've probably heard of it, but th there's this cool feature that not many people talk about that, that works incredibly well with Cora's realistic image generation. And I just figured this out myself. And by the way, no, this is not sponsored and they actually should because um, I feel like I'm doing a charity case here. Is, is, that, is that how you say that? I don't know if it make, does it make sense? Maybe not, maybe that's offensive, I don't know. Anyways, so Arcads allows you to generate consistent characters and then you can make them speak um, without having to jump on other apps and, and whatnot. And they actually offer great lip syncing. And there's two modes of creation. The very first one is design your own character where you do not have a reference image. And the second one is uploading a reference image and creating multiple variations of, of that same um, character. I'll actually show you a trick on how you can also have your character hold your product. So let me show you what I'm about to do right now as I think that this workflow is unique. We're gonna click add actor over here. We're gonna create an actor and we're gonna choose our mode. And in this case, since we already have our model image, this very pretty lady over here and we will, I don't know, call her Olga, we'll select generate actor from reference image. We're gonna upload the image. Okay, 
and we're gonna add in the prompt section a description of what we want our character to do, right? So in my case, I'm just gonna say a young woman POV by the beach, okay? And just hit generate boom so now we get four images of the same actor and look honestly i'm impressed with the consistency and now i feel challenged to improve chorus consistent character feature uh, look look at me going off and shouting out a, a competitor a great serial that will definitely help with your customer retention i like this one i'm gonna select the actor and we're ready to bring this to life okay what do we want the character to do right like we need to have them move right do we want them to be excited? Do we want them to be walking? Do we want them to be expressive? I want my character, my avatar, to, to be generic so I can reuse it across different projects, right? I want to I want to keep it as broad as possible. And also, in this case, I need to keep my prompt broad as well. So I'm just going to say, make the actor talk calmly while looking at the camera. We're going to confirm. We're going to select a voice from the default selection over here, but we can change this later. So don't 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 worry about this. Just select whatever you want. And we're going to hit generate. We will wait for about two to three minutes and it will give us a preview of our actor talking to the camera, uh, moving based on our prompt that we just um, added previously. For now, this is just a preview, right? And here's what I look for before training my actor. So we have this preview and then after we're going to train it. So we're going to be like, cool, we like this, let's train this because I want to use this actor. I, I look for things like, is there mouth movement? Does the does the subject behave naturally? Is is it close enough to the camera? Is it too far? Maybe if it's too far, the lip sync is not, it's not going to be that great. If it's too close, the lip sync as well might not be that great. So I want to make sure that, that there's a sweet spot, right? Are there any distortion in the image that, that, that I don't want that look off that make the character look not realistic? And if everything's good, for example, this one looks good to me, I'll just hit train and this will take about 20 minutes. So we'll come back to it. While we wait, let's have the actor hold our product. It's very simple, the same process, right? But at this time, we are gonna add both the source image and the product image. And we're gonna add this prompt in the, in, in the prompt section. We're gonna say, have the subject on the left, hold the product on the right, do not change the subject's appearance. And hit generate, boom, this is what you get. Now, follow the same exact steps and start training your actor. So let's just do that. Boom, 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 done. Now, if you don't have a source image, you can also generate an actor from scratch by prompting and designing the character using the same process. However, I would recommend you doing that inside Quora because the image resolution is absolutely insane. Now, here's the fun part, having the AI actor speak. Compared to other methods, I, I found Arcad's lip syncing to be better than, than anything else on the market. Why? Because it's a video to video lip syncing. It's not an image to video. There are a lot of reasons why video to video lip syncing might be better than, than image to video lip syncing. I'm not going to get into that right now. However, it does take a while to train avatars this way. It's, it's really a trade-off between speed and quality. Unfortunately, you cannot get both today yet but here's what our proprietary proprietary but here's what our proprietary oh my god i cannot say this word here's what our proprietary preview generation looks like hey Let's take a look at it welcome so avatars to already ads. trained i'm one of the natural ai actors you can use for your ads create a script you think damn will work well. this is pretty good <laughs> i'm not a fan of of, of the voice don't worry about this. You can change them later in the generation setting. Let's, let's do that. Let's select our actor and paste in a script for lip syncing. And again, we can tweak the generation settings um, and choose different voices over here. You can either paste in a script or you can upload your own file. Audio usually sounds more natural. We can try both and see side by side. So I'm gonna paste in this script over here. I'm gonna select a random voice and hit generate. This is what we get. Take a look at this. Today, we're diving into something way more powerful than you think, sunscreen. Yeah, I know. You're like, it's not even sunny outside. Do I really need it? But here's the thing. UV rays do not care about your vibe or the weather. They're out here aging you silently like a toxic ex. So let's cut the noise. Do you actually know what SPF does? This is good. Now let's try with audio. There's this new free and open source model that creates very realistic audio. And that's what we'll use for this demo. And honestly, I think that this one is the best out there, open source, free, especially for voice cloning. And I think it it, it beats 11 Labs, sorry about that. 
And while we're talking about 11, you can also use 11 Labs voices inside RCADs if you have your custom voices. Now this model that's free and open source, it's called Higgs Audio Text-to-Speech. You can access it inside Hugging Face and there's a few modes of creation. You can either use smart voices or you can voice clone. Voice cloning is very good. It does crazy things, honestly. Again, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this right now. I'm going to select a single speaker voice over here and we're going we're gonna to describe the voice. We're going to say she speaks with a clear British accent and conversational inquisitive tone. Inquisitive tone. Okay, great. These are big words for me, okay? Um, her delivery is articulate and at a moderate pace and very clear audio. And here's the text. So let's just generate this and see what it'll come up with. It took eight seconds to generate. Let's hear this out. Today we're diving into something way more powerful than you think. Sunscreen. Yeah, I know. You're like, it's not even sunny outside. Do I really need it? But here's the thing, UV rays do not care about your vibe or the weather. They're out here aging you silently, like a toxic This is an Australian head. accent. I don't so think this is a British accent. Annoying. Either way, I think this is good for being free. It's absolutely great. But I would recommend that you guys clone some sort of a voice over here because it's going to do a way better job. We can go back. We can upload our audio over here. Select speech to speech. You're going to upload our audio. Boom, boom, boom. It's going to transcribe it for you. You're going to select your actor. Hit generate. This is what we get. Take a look at this. Today we're diving into something way more powerful than you think. Sunscreen. Yeah, I know. You're like, it's not even sunny outside. Do I really need it? But here's the thing. UV rays do not care about your vibe or the weather. They're out here aging you silently. I'm going to show you some other examples that I've done using this exact same method inside Arcads. Here's how to actually create realistic, consistent AI UGC avatars. Pretty dope. Pretty game. cool. Now, what are some of the pros and what are some of the cons of doing this? Probably, if you're here, you're here to get value and free value. One of the cons is that these are paid tools. You're going to have to spend some dollars in order for you to get good quality. I always say things that are great are not going to be free, except of WAN 2.2. But still, that requires a lot of GPU power. That re that would require you to actually have great computer, like great mach a great machine, which is very expensive. Also, it might take you more time than usual to generate all these things. Another cons that I can think of is that you would have to either work yourself on this or have a team to work on this. Well, why is this a cons? Well, because it's a bottleneck, right? You have to do it. Someone has to do this. It is still a service business. Pros, you get great quality. You get cheaper results than usual. A usual UGC influencer is going to cost you a minimum 300 US dollars. You're generating 10 videos for $100 instead of spending $3,000 for things you don't even know if they're going to work. Another pro is that you can make profit. I'll show you exactly how you can do that, how you can start pricing and start selling to clients that are interested in AI UGC. Here's a very quick way that you can monetize out of this workflow. We know that it costs 100 US dollars to subscribe to our ads. That means 10 videos. Now, you have to charge $85 per video, including editing and, and script writing. And one video should not take you more than 45 minutes to make from start to finish if you have experience with this. Now you go to the client and you quote them for a minimum of 30 videos. You can do more, but this is your minimum, 30 videos per month. So that is 2,250 US dollars. Now out of that, you have to pay $300 to Arcads on subscription. And you put in your pocket 1,950 US dollars. This is for 30 videos. And as I said, it could be more, um, which is about 15 hours of work. That means that you're making $130 per hour. Now, I have an entire video on how to structure your business model if you're looking to scale so that you don't have to be the bottleneck. So check it out by clicking the link on the screen. I appreciate you being here, my friend, and spending time with me. And I do hope that you learned something new today. If you're interested in learning the best AI methods for content creation, including Comfy UI and custom support, yes, we will do it with you and for you. I run an AI community where I help people get started and grow into high level content producers. Here's some work from Kevin and Lucan who joined the community three months ago and we host live calls, give you access to real opportunities and you get to watch me build AI SaaS projects in real time and ask 
any questions that you have. Thank you for being here, friend. And I want to remind you that the real magic of AI is not what it can do for you, but how it empowers you to do what you've always wanted, to create without limits. This is Serial.